Neighbourhood Watch, which many believe to be the biggest and most successful crime prevention initiative, with around 600 billion UK households forming part of its network, has over the past 10 years encouraged us to trust no one. Yet it seems this fear initiative has a hidden agenda. Run by an underground or overground cartel of Mafia members, dressed up as innocent elderly citizens, they have accessed our front rooms with tea and cakes and stickers, centralised our addresses on a huge global database, and planned and carried out the ransacking of our homes. This incident was caught on CCTV. Do hurry up, my dear! Up you go! Go up further, Camilla! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. Will you move those legs a little bit quicker? Lots of efforts to get a Nintendo. Wise. Defenceless young people have been easily duped by the Neighbourhood Watch Mafia elders, but after a spate of Christmas robberies, young people are now living in fear of the elderly. Anyone with a walking stick, crutches, umbrella or a shuffling walk is now seen as a possible Mafia member. While up and down the country, young people are thought to be living in fear of losing their possessions, especially iPods, iPhones and expensive hair scrunchies, to Mafia syndicates in designated neighbourhood watch areas. The neighbourhood watch press officer, Mrs Kurt Ann Twitcher, responded to the allegations, said, we will be having a very internal investigation into this matter, and it will be unfair to comment on anything, at all, ever. Meanwhile, police are frantically searching for the whereabouts of suspected Neighbourhood Watch Mafia boss, Mrs Camilla Elps. She is described as wearing a distinctive fur coat and fluffy slippers. A woman matching Mrs Elps' description was captured on a camera phone not far from the scene of a local burglary. This is Nadia reporting for The Panic Desk.